WBZB, WFGS, and WNBS now conducts a test of the emergency alert system. WBZB, WFGS, and WNBS now conducts a test of the emergency alert system. You're listening to the BBC on WMRA, and it's now time for our weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test.
This is WSPC Albemarle. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is WSPC Albemarle. This has been a test of the emergency alert system. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets went flare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, see. That star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. K236CK Warrington. KWRE Warrington Troy by official information and instructions. The following tones will conclude this test of the emergency alert system. This is the National Weather Service in Mobile, Alabama. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm Device for stations KECC 61 Mobile, KECC 86 Milton, WWF 55 Jackson, KIH 59 Doster, WNG 646 Britton, WNG 640 Leakso, and WNG 607 Greenville. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and your receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 9 and 10 a.m. and between 6 and 8 p.m. each Wednesday. If there is a threat of or existing severe weather within the area Wednesday, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm, will vary at any given location. This variability, which is normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even if you are using a good quality receiver, which is in good working order. The warning alarm will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings, which affect the following counties. In Mississippi, George, Green, Jackson, Perry, Stone, and Wayne. In Alabama, Baldwin, Butler, Choctaw, Clark, Coffee, Conecuh, Covington, Crenshaw, Escambia, Geneva, Lowndes, Mobile, Monroe, Pike, Washington, and Wilcox. And in the Florida Panhandle, Escambia, Okaloosa, Santa Rosa, and Walton. This has been a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm Device. We now return you to our normal program.
This is the National Weather Service Office in Jacksonville. The preceding alarm tone was a test of the public warning system on NOAA weather radio station KHP 39. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 10 a.m. and noon each Wednesday. If there is a possibility of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur, even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties in northeast of Florida, Clay, Duval, Nassau, Putnam, and St. John's, and for Camden County in southeast Georgia. In addition to the regular tone alarm, the NOAA weather radio system is equipped with an additional warning device called SAME, which is short for Specific Area Message Encoder. Unlike the normal warning tone, which alerts all alarmable NOAA weather radios in range of this broadcast, SAME allows people with a SAME equipped weather radio to be notified of watches and or warnings affecting only the county desired. For more information regarding NOAA weather radio, contact the National Weather Service at 13701 Fang Drive, Jacksonville, Florida, 32218, or call 1-904-741-4370. You can also visit our website at weather.gov slash jacks. This concludes the weekly test of NOAA weather radio station KHP 39. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Activating its emergency alert system at the request of
This is a test of the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Operational Area Emergency Alert System. Vamos a regresar con el doctor Elmer Huerta. This is a coordinated monthly test of the broadcast and cable stations in your area. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If there's been an actual emergency, official messages will follow this alert tone. This concludes our test of the emergency alert system. WTOP at 
potentially dangerous weather situations, such as ill receivers can be automatically activated by the signal and warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 11 a.m. and noon each Wednesday. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm, will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. To provide the most consistent and dependable warning service possible,
upper 40s.
receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending severe weather and floor hazards for the Florida Panhandle, Southeast Alabama, Southwest and South Central Georgia. Tests of these receivers are normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon local time. When there is a threat of morning, the severe weather will be very The test is postponed until the next available non severe or non hazard day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for launches and warnings from the Florida Panhandle, Southeast Alabama, Southwest and South Central Georgia. This concludes the weekly test of the no weather radio warning alarm and the emergency alert system for the entire county warning area service by the Tallahassee Weather Forecast Office. This is the National Weather Service in Grand Forks, North Dakota. The National Weather Service has just activated the public warning alarm tone. This is a test of the weather warning alarm system. Mostly cloudy during the perception of the weather situation. Much cooler with high open numbers are automatically activated by the surrounding warning alarm system. Of these receivers and the alarm system are normally conducted by the National Weather Service Office in Grand Forks. Those are every Wednesday between the hours of 10 a.m. and noon. Of the 20 year weather threat in the area near the normal alarm attack time, the test will be postponed to the first available day free of severe weather. Your reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm, will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. To provide the most This has been a test of the emergency alert system. In the event of an actual emergency or severe weather affecting Brevard, Lake, Orange, Osceola, Hope, Seminole, or Volusia counties, C88.3 will interrupt programming to bring you this important information. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Attention all parents, feeling overwhelmed by the delay.
cloudy. The temperature was 71 degrees. Thunderstorm sunny with a temperature of 
is the National Weather Service in Pendleton, Oregon. The preceding signal was a test of the weather radio public warning system for station WWF56, Richland, Washington. This warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties only. In South Central and Southeast Washington, Adams, Benton, Franklin, Grant, Klinkitat, Walla Walla, and Yakima. This concludes the warning alarm test. We now return to regular weather programming. This was a test of the NOAA weather radio warning device. Following the alarm tone, your receiver should have turned on automatically. The alarm tone just transmitted should have been heard on any operating receiver. The alarm tone will be used to alert you in times of threatening weather and will be followed by a watch, warning, or emergency message. This test will be conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon except when hazardous weather threatens. The test will then be postponed until the first fair weather day. Once again, this has been a test of the NOAA weather radio warning device. We now return to normal programming. Chance of precipitation. was a test of the NOAA weather radio warning device. Following the alarm tone, your receiver should have turned on automatically. The alarm tone just transmitted should have been heard on any operating receiver. The alarm tone will be used to alert you in times of threatening weather and will be followed by a watch, warning, or emergency message. This test will be conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon except when hazardous weather threatens. The test will then be postponed until the first fair weather day. Once again, this has been a test of the NOAA weather radio warning device. We now return to normal programming.
Activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Hot Metal Radio is conducting a test of the emergency alert system. Hot Metal Radio is conducting a test of the emergency alert system. The civil authorities have issued a requiring weekly test for Anoka. The civil authorities have issued a requiring weekly test for Anoka. Minnesota, and beginning at 1:33 p.m. May 24, 2023, and doing one thirty six test for the emergency alert system.
system is revival.
This, this is a test of the emergency alert, alert, alert system. This, this is all the way a test. test. Saturday, east winds 10 to 20 knots. Weather Service Office in Honolulu, Hawaii. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA Weather Radio's public warning system. This is only a test. Tests of this signal are normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. If there is a severe a threat of severe weather on the day of the test, it will be postponed to the next available fair weather day. For hazardous watches and warnings, the warning alarm tone will be activated for the following county. In the KBA 99 listening area, Hawaii, Honolulu, Maui, and Hawaii counties. In the WZ 2557 listening area, Hawaii County. In the WWG 75 listening area, Maui and Hawaii counties. In the WWG 27 listening area, Hawaii County. This concludes the weekly test. We now return to recorded programming. Weather Service Office in Honolulu, Hawaii. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA Weather Radio's public warning system. This is only a test. Tests of this signal are normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. If there is a severe a threat of severe weather on the day of the test, it will be postponed to the next available fair weather day. For hazardous watches and warnings, the warning alarm tone will be activated for the following county. In the KBA 99 listening area, Kauai, Honolulu, Maui, and Hawaii counties. In the WZ 2557 listening area, Kauai County. In the WWG 75 listening area, Maui and Hawaii counties. In the WWG 27 listening area, Hawaii County. This concludes the weekly test. We now return to our recorded programming. Miles east of the Cape. Northeast wind at 10 knots. 
test. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA weather radio public warning system. Specially built receivers are activated by the signal to warn of severe weather or other hazards. Tests are normally conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon and again between 6 and 8 p.m. If severe weather is expected on Wednesday, the test will be postponed until the next day, weather permitting. Reception of this broadcast and especially the warning signals, can vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can result even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. Warning alarm tones are activated on transmitters for counties where the signal is reliably received, in sufficient strength for consistent and dependable service. For station KIH 26 in Daytona Beach, warning alerts will be activated for Volusia, Flagler, Putnam, Lake, Seminole, Brevard, and Orange Counties. For station KIH 63 in Orlando, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Lake, Orange, Osceola, Polk, Seminole, and Volusia Counties. For station WXJ 70 in Melbourne, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Indian River, Orange, and Osceola counties. For station WWF 69 in Fort Pierce, warning alerts will be activated for Indian River, Martin, Okeechobee, and St. Lucie counties. This has been a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Public Warning The system. civil authorities have issued a required we weekly test for Kitson, Minnesota, program. beginning at 5.04 p.m. May 24, 2023 and ending at 6.04 p.m. May 24, 2023. This is a required weekly test. This is only a Kitson County test. This has been a required weekly test of the emergency alert system. Waves one foot or less.
Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm, will vary at any given location. This variability, which is normally more nauticable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even if you are using a good quality receiver, which is in good working order. The warning alarm will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings, which affect the following counties. In Mississippi, George, Green, Jackson, Perry, Stone, and Wayne. In Alabama, Baldwin, Butler, Choctaw, Clark, Coffey, Conecuh, Covington, Crenshaw, Escambia, Geneva, Lowndes, Mobile, Monroe, Pike, Washington, and Wilcox. And in the Florida Panhandle, Escambia, Okaloosa, Santa Rosa, and Walton. This has been a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm device. We now return you to our normal program. of the emergency alert system. This station is testing its emergency alert system equipment. The EAS will provide timely emergency warnings. This station serves the Pittsburgh Extended Operational Area. This concludes this emergency alert system test. You have just heard a test of the National Weather Service radio warning alarm feature. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at a greater distance from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. During severe weather, the warning alarm will be activated for severe thunderstorm and tornado watches. For severe thunderstorm, tornado, and flash flood warnings, the warning alarm will also be used for civil emergency messages. The test of the warning alarm feature of National Weather Service Radio is conducted at 12 noon and 7 p.m. each Wednesday, unless there is a significant risk of severe weather in the area. The wind was east at 15 miles per hour. Mostly clear. The pressure was lower in the point zero nine inches and steady. Southeast winds floating around miles per hour. hour. It was sunny Saturday with a temperature of 82 at Mason City, 81 at Old Lyme, in the lower one at Charles City, 84 in the Marshall Town, and 81 at Cedar Rapids, mostly sunny. Here are some conditions in the middle in Iowa. Sun has ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. A slight chance of shower at midnight, 80 at the Quad Cities, 83 at Des Moines, and 85 at Omaha, mostly sunny with a slight chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 80s. Monday night, partly cloudy with a chance of showers with a slight chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of rain 30%. Tuesday, mostly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Good evening. This is a test of the National Weather Service NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards Warning Alarm System in cooperation with the Emergency Alert System. Tests of this alarm system are conducted every Wednesday at 11 a.m. and again at 7 p.m. If there is a severe weather threat, the tests are postponed until the next available good weather day. The alarm tone will activate for severe weather and other life-threatening emergency messages for the following 14 transmitters and associated broadcast areas. W 
WXL 57 at Des Moines, WXL 94 at Bremer County, WXK 84 at Fort Dodge, KXI 98 at Marshalltown, KXI 62 at Montezuma, WXN 91 at Rathman Lake, WNG 730 at Ottumwa, KZZ 51 at Carroll, KZZ 68 at Van Wert, KXI 65 at Lenox, WNG 666 at Iowa Falls, WNG 668 at Denison, WNG 688 at Ringstead, and the KJY 63 at Forest City. For a detailed listing of what counties are served by each transmitter, please visit the No Weather Radio section of our website at weather.gov slash Des Moines. Once again, please visit the No Weather Radio section of our website at weather.gov slash Des Moines. This concludes our test. We now return to regular programming. It was 52 degrees. The normal low is 58. The record low is 39 degrees, which was... Now he
the away from the natural rainfall is occurring with rainfall is a mailing to flash flooding and mailing to flash to run. Drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. through flooded roadways. Metal Radio is activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Metal Radio is activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service.
Turkey has issued a severe until 12.30 a.m. At 11.44 p.m., a pair of severe thunderstorms were located along the lane extending from east to west coast, moving south at 30 miles per hour. The most dangerous storm was located near west coast. Hazard, golf ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Impact, source, people radar animals, indicated. Outdoors will be injured. Impact, people Expect and animals, outdoors will be injured. Fighting, windows, Expect and hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Wind damage Expect is wind also damage likely to roofs, siding, entries, and outbuildings. Locations impacted Locations include Level Lynn, Morton, Needmore, Lensos, Beulah, Beautiful Point, Wildlife Saint Refuge, Phoenix, Pan, Lehman, Maple, and Rifle. Prepare immediately for large hill and, and damaging winds. People outside for should move immediately to shelter inside a strong building. Stay away from windows. A severe thunderstorm or rainfall is occurring with these storms and may lead to flash flooding. The following counties Do not drive Mexico, your vehicle through Canada, flooded roadways. Curry and Roosevelt. Alt Metal Radio is conducting a test of the emergency alert system. Alt Metal Radio is activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. Alt Metal Radio is activating its emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. This is a test of the emergency alert system for Alt Metal Radio. This is only a test. The following tones are recorded for Alt Metal Radio. This is only a test. The following tones are recorded for Alt Metal Radio. This is only a test. The following tones are recorded for Alt Metal Radio. This is only a test. Service in Lubbock, Texas has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Lamb County in northwestern Texas until 12.30 a.m. 2 p.m. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located 8 miles southeast of Earth, moving southeast at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. 
Locations impacted include Failton. Take cover now. Move. <laughs> or 13 miles east of Canadian, moving north at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Lake Marvin. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 12.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time Thursday for the following county, Hemphill, Texas.